Welcome back. President Biden ramping up his travel plans ahead of the midterm, stopping in New Hampshire yesterday after a trip to Iowa last week. So does this signal his intention to run in 2024? And would that help or hurt Democrats this November and beyond? Here to debate, Chris Prudhomme, Republican strategist, and Kelly Hyman, Democratic political analyst. Great to have the both of you here. Kelly, first question to you. How petrified are you and your fellow Democrats that Joe Biden is going to run in 2024? Well, hi, Todd. Good morning. It's great to see you. I am excited of the fact that Biden is considering running in 2024. But I think the bigger question is, who is going to be the person on the other side? If I was a betting person, I would definitely say that Trump is going to be the, the nominee. But who is going to be his vice president? Is it going to be Pence? Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Nikki? I think we're going to have to wait and see. But as a Democrat, I am excited and looking forward to 2024. Interesting. All right, Chris. Only 30 33% approve of President Biden, according to the latest poll. Should Kelly have any confidence in his chances of getting reelected, as she does? Hey, Kelly, always a pleasure to, to, to see you. But look, uh, there's nothing to be excited about. Uh, what was even more petrifying is over half of the uh, nation uh, does not approve of President Biden at the moment. And over 60 percent of the nation does not approve, approve excuse me, on how he's handling the economy right now. Uh, look, this is a, an immense uphill battle for President Biden. Uh, you have uh, Democratic stars who have obviously begun to distance themselves from him. Look at Stacey Abrams in Georgia. Uh, did not appear to him uh, with him, excuse me, at the big uh, voting rights speech there. Uh, a Democratic uh, defeated uh, former governor and Democratic gubernatorial nominee uh, this time around, Terry McAuliffe, uh, stated himself that he thought Biden was a liability to his campaign. These are all signs that it's a very challenging time for him. And look, it's going to continuously be a challenging time. People have not forgotten about the Afghanistan withdrawal. People have not forgotten, obviously, now what's happening now, obviously, inflation, gas prices across America. These are real issues, and people are going to vote with real issues. Kelly, Chris just alluded to this. Let's dial back from 2024 to this November, all focus on the midterms. If you are a vulnerable Democrat candidate, do you want President Biden campaigning for you? Absolutely. We have to think about what the president has done, and let's focus on the positive things. We have to remember the COVID relief package that helped American people. Let's talk about the infrastructure bill. We have to remember that our former president tried to get the infrastructure bill passed, and he was unable to do that. But Biden did that. It was bipartisan bill. So I think it's important to focus on that. In December, we had the lowest unemployment rate since we've had since 1969. And there's other stuff as well. So absolutely, he's a president for all the people, whether you're Republican, Democrat, or independent, and it's important to get out for him to speak to the American people about issues that affect them. Okay, Chris, Kelly focusing on the Biden administration talking points of low unemployment and, of course, the infrastructure bill. But does any of that matter if President Biden goes to a place and they're still struggling with inflation, high gas prices, uh, crime, all that stuff that seems to be really dropping Joe Biden's poll numbers right now? Todd, you, you can ask a, a, a better question. You said it best. Look, here's the reality. Ads and campaigning does not matter, results do. I'll say it again, ads and campaigns don't matter, results do. Stopping in New Hampshire and super PACs running ads in Pennsylvania and Arizona will not help right now. People are tired of this antiquated political style. Let's hop on the road and cheer and get everybody pumped up and riled up. People are no longer, people are not stupid. Americans are tired of being duped and campaigned and speech and talked to death. It's about results and right now people are hurting. It's time to get this economy back on track where obviously uh, people talk about the, the mask mandate, people are, look, but here's the reality. You have airline CEOs who are coming out who are supporting, people ready to get things back to normal and put money back in the American people's pockets. That's what this is about. And a lot of what, they're, are, they're, what they are talking about, excuse me, is not that. And look, he's not going to come close to even uh, obviously being the nominee if he's not planning on doing that, which he is not. And you have, again, you have Democratic stars who have distanced themselves against him. It is time to move things forward, time to move our nation forward, and they don't have a plan for it. Kelly alluded to this earlier, saying that <laughs> she thinks it's going to be a Biden-Trump rematch. Do you agree with Kelly, Chris? Uh, look, I, I don't. I don't. Look, there, here, on a more serious note, here's the reality. Biden, let's just all, 
the reality is that he'll be looking at being 82 years old, right? Uh, I mean, I think people know, uh, I, I've talked to both Democratic friends, uh, you know, it doesn't matter all, 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 all walks of life, both sides of the aisle. People know that, obviously, Biden is obviously uh, getting up in age, older in age. And now, not just that. Uh, there's this concern of, obviously, his health overall to be able to have the fortitude to be able to continue to move forward. And that's really what this comes down to. I, I don't see that. Okay. I don't see it happening. Uh, and that's it. People, people are fresh right now. People need a, vigor, a leader that's enthusiastic and that can make things happen. Okay. And right now, we don't need talk. Kelly need and Chris, we have the tape. You both took very, very opposing positions here. We have the tape to see which one of you is going to be right coming up in November and then again <laughs> in 2024. We appreciate it, as always. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. Thanks, Todd. You, you as well, Todd. Good to see you. Right.